Hey everyone, Mr. W here. This lesson is uh, number patterns, part four, division. Remember, a number pattern involves a uh, set of numbers that usually runs from left to right, and the numbers are changing each time, and it's our job to figure out, you know, what is happening to them. Are we, are we adding, are we subtracting, multiplying, uh, or dividing, and then by how much? And that is called the rule. Today, we're going to focus on rules that involve division. Uh, the numbers down here are stretched out a little bit so that we can see the rule in action. And today, we will be using our calculator. Um, so let's get started. 1,372, 196, 28, and then blank. And our job is to figure out the rule and figure out there. All right, so the numbers are, are, are definitely getting smaller here, which means it's either going to be subtraction or division. And we can really quickly, I'll show you a little trick for uh, ruling out subtraction. You see here 1,372. If we were to use subtraction, I just wrote it down here. And I said we would use our calculator today just to save a little bit of time. So 1,372 minus 196 would equal 1,176. So in other words, we would have a rule of minus 1,176. Remember that when we do uh, rules, the rule stays the same, meaning that even though the rule works for here, it will definitely not work for 196, that's way too big. So we know for sure that this is a division problem. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to say 1,372 divided by blank will equal 196. Now, you remember way back first and second grade, you did fact families and fact families, the, the idea is that you can use the same three set of numbers and get uh, interchangeable answers for multiplication or division. We're going to do the same thing here. We need to find this answer, but to do that, we're actually going to divide the 196. So 1,372 divided by 196, which is that number right there, equals 7. So remember, we're dividing. So what we're saying here is that this would be a divide by seven rule. So I'm going to try it again here just to prove it. I know it's going to be division because we just proved subtraction already, but let's just, in fact, we, we can prove that. 1,372 divided by seven equals, see how that equals uh, 196? Nice thing about the calculator, divided by 7 equals, there's our 28, right? So we're, we said the rule stays the same. So we're just going to continue to do those steps, 28 divided by 7, and that would equal 4. So our uh, rule for this first problem would be a uh, division uh, dividing by 7. Depending what grade you are, uh, it could also be expressed as divide by seven. And usually when you get to fifth, sixth, uh, older grades, uh, many times in the third and fourth grade, it'll be shown in that way. Find the rule. 1,240. And I see this time we have a blank here on the left and the right that we will need to solve. Um, numbers are definitely getting smaller. And yes, it could be subtraction, but it's not going to be because 1,000 minus 200 would be 800, just using mental math. And 800, you know, you're not going to be able to take 800 from 200. So this is a, uh, a division rule. So here we're going to do 1,000 divided by blank equals 200. And we said we could use our fact family. So I'm going to rewrite this as 1,000 divided by 200. 
because a fraction represents a division statement. Honestly, we could really just cancel out these zeros here and do 10 divided by 2 would equal uh, the 8, okay, which would mean this would be a uh, divide by, uh, excuse me, a divide by 5 rule, not 8, I don't know where I got 8 with, so a divide by 5 rule, right? But let's just prove it anyway. Um, one, that's why I should use the calculator. 1,000 divided by 5, right, equals, yeah, there's our 200. So we're just going to carry out this rule. Remember, we can show it either way, and it's good to be familiar with both. 200 divided by 5, there's our 40. And divided by 5 equals 8. So we have a divide by 5, but remember, Depending what grade you're on, you could express it as both say divided by five or divided by five. Now we still have this one here, and remember that the rule will stay the same, meaning that this will also be a divide by five rule. So how we would think this through is blank divided by five equals 1,000. But because of fact families, remember here we were working from left to right, and we were using division rule. Now we're working from right to left. We're going the opposite direction, which means we're going to use the opposite operation. So instead of dividing by five, we are going to multiply by five. In other words, 1,000 times five. Well, one times five, I'll need a calculator for that, is five and count your zeros, one, two, three. And so that would be uh, five, so our rule was divide by five. Find the rule and pause if you want and try it. And again, you can use your calculator. 5,184, 432, 36, getting smaller. And once again, it's a division. Remember how we ruled out subtraction from we can kind of see that pattern like that. So our steps are going to be 5,184 divided. We said this is divi divided by blank, but because of fact families, we can use that number and find the rule. So 5,184 divided by 432 equals 12, right? So this is going to be a divide by 12, or you could express it as divide by 12. So let's just prove it. 5,184 divided by 12 equals 432 divided by 12 equals our 36. And the rule stays the same, right? 36 divided by 12 equals three and we've got this one here remember the rule stays the same but because now we're working from right to left we are doing the opposite so this would read as blank divided by 12 equals 5184 but because we're doing the opposite direction we're going to multiply by 12. So in other words, we're going to multiply, that's why we need calculators today, 5,184 times 12. 5,184 times 12 equals, wow, 60, well, I'm glad we have calculator, 62,208 using a divide 12, which we can express in both ways. Okay, everybody, thanks. Hope this was helpful, and we'll see you next time.